Hello everybody, my name is Zed, and welcome to Isle of Swaps, the demo. This is another deck building roguelike that I happened to come across for my demo searching. And I thought this one looked pretty cute. I'm not entirely sure how it compares to the others I've played. But I wanted to give this one a check to see just how it is. And hopefully I will like this one too because I've been in the mood for more deck building games. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out the tutorial to figure out how to play. Learn the basics of critter challenges and battles from Dottie? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, uh, glad to see you finally got some critter cards. Let me teach you the basics of how to play. Basically, you'll take on a challenge, which is a deck of cards full of battles and shots with a boss at the end. Along the way, you'll customize and strengthen your battle deck with critter, skill, and sticker cards. If you manage to beat the boss at the end of the challenge, you'll move on to a tougher challenge. If you can claim victory in three challenges, you'll be the challenge winner. Let's begin a trial challenge. I'll show you three cards and you choose one of them to progress. Give it a try. Oh, look at that. So let's see. What, uh, wild battle. Gain a critter and skill card when you win. Yeah, I think this is what attracted me to the game. It's because it is so reminiscent of like Pokemon cards. And look, they even have the name of the illustrators or who the artists are, I should say. So I think I want to go for this one. Oh, look, it's me. Or at least I think that's me. Dina versus Seppin. Oh my god, this just feels like a... This really does feel like Pokemon now. You want to play skill cards from your hand onto a critter of the same element shown by the icon in the top left. Rainbow icon cards can be used on any critter. Uh, so let's see, what if I... Where does it show that I have, like, energy? Skills. Let's do... Uh, flash burn? Let's try that. Stronger skill cards will use the energy generated by weaker skill cards. These cards show which energy they need below the illustration. Gain energy for a flame tackle. Uh, critters have power which is added to a skills card. Skill cards damage when they attack. Their defense reduces damage taken and adds to skill cards when they do a status effect. You can play up to three cards each turn, and when you're done, click the end turn button in the bottom right. You can end your turn at any time you want. So I... Oh wait, that last card I used didn't count as playing, so... Oh, never mind, it did. Let's see... And let me go ahead and do that again. Nice. Okay. Zappin and its signature skill momentum have been added to your binder. Well done on nabbing a new critter. Open up your battle deck and put it in your active team. The icon is on the bottom bar. Click cards in the binder to add them to your deck. Click the ones in the deck to remove them again. 
Using more critters requires more skill cards in the deck. Add both attack and energy skill cards. Okay. Oh, and I got some more right here. <clears throat> I don't have enough skill cards for how many critters I have. Alright. Hmm. All right. Oh, wait, I have multiples of the same. All right. Well, that should be good, right? Yeah. All right. Save changes. Yep. So it doesn't matter who I go up against. So I'll go against you. Sailor. Critters usually attack the critter opposite. So drag your critters to different spots to change who they're opposing. Attacking a critter with a type it's weak to will increase the damage taken. That goes for you and your opponent. So, again, like Pokemon. Okay, I see. They're weak to, like, Flower. Whereas... Yeah, Wall of Blaze is weak to water. Oh. Oh, there's my card, Blaze. Okay. Oh, I'm right in front of it. My bad. I see. The cost is right there. Got it. Oh, nice. I won. Okay. You won. Now you can swap cards. Even though you only swap five cards at a time, you can swap with someone as many times as you want. Um, uh, is there anything that I want? I want that one. Every three turns, your critter gain one power for three turns. Battle start every five turns. All enemy critters get... Ooh. Kinaku. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And I guess... Oh, my swap value is only at four. Hold on, let me... I can't offer more than five cards. Okay, so one of them has to be... Oh, I see. They're all of different rarities. Alright, so it looks like I am going to have to... Oh, yep, it says right there. Swap values, circle is common, diamond is uncommon, and star is rare. However, I'm only allowed to swap five cards. 
Alright, so... Alright, there we go. Excellent. You should add these new cards to your battle deck to power it up. So that would be... Oh, oh wait, I can just do this. And is that it? Yep, that is it. Uh, I think we're good. Opponent critters will get tougher as you advance through challenges. Whilst their battle stats increase, you will use sticker cards to power up your battle deck instead. Right, and they're all... They're all the same, so... I have six coins, so I can go ahead and buy myself a boosty pack. Yeah, the idea of booster packs being inside um, vending machines like that, I do not trust them. Oh, can I... Interesting way to tear open the pack, but okay. Scary mask. That... That smile... It reminds me of someone. Barrage. Attack opposite cr critter for power plus one damage two times. Ooh, burn spot. Nice. And vitamin drink. Wow, a shiny rare sticker. You add stickers to your battle deck like skill cards, but they're always active and not played in your hand. Put it in your battle deck and see it on our next battle. Okay. I got room for one of those. Oh, oh, yeah. automatic boss battle. Okay. All right, Dottie, you're going down. If you've gotten a hand of cards you can't use or just want to replace one, hold M2 on one. Hold M2 on one to use this card and draw. Get rid of one hand card for a new one from your deck. Oh, M2, right mouse button. Oh, all right, um. Okay. All right. Oh, nice. All right, I think I get in the handle of this. Oh, and I see, we can have up to three. Oh, they're passive. All right. Oh, that's why I've... Oh, those stickers are useful then. That's why they said the stickers weren't in my deck. Or in my hand, even. Alright, so that's one critter down. 
And I can swap one more time. Perfect. There we go. Hey, this is actually pretty fun. Well done, you did it. That's the basics of playing through a challenge. When you're ready for the real thing, just let us know. There's all sorts of battle decks you can make depending on how you combine critter, skill, and sticker cards, so be sure to try all kinds of strategies. I look forward to seeing you for a proper nature challenge. See you later. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a challenge run now. Oh, and we have characters to choose from. Well, no. All we have is Dina. But I want to play as Finn. Oh, Nuzlocke? Start with more lives. When enemy critters are defeated, you lose them a and a life. Win or lose applies to wild critters. That's nice that Nuzlocke is an option for this. Alright, let's get started. Oh, I gotta go with... Uh, actually, no, I want to go with Hanglin. As much as I like to play uh, water types with Pokemon, I like Hanglin. Yeah, this will be... This will work. Grab your sunblock. We're off to the Aqua Beach. How confident are you? I'm not sure you'll beat me. Ha. <laughs> so let's see. We got a battle. A wild battle. And another one. Ooh. I want to go up against Studit. God, that is just straight up Pokemon music. Alright, I got two more plays. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, and yep, they take damage from Thorn. To Thorn. Okay. Hmm. Nice. I did it. Shiny Foresight. Alright, cool. I should probably go ahead and add them to my deck before I forget. That should be good. Yeah, I don't have anything else right now. Uh, judging what they've got, I'm going to go for you. Professor. Okay, they got a student too. Status immunity. Cool.
All right, we're good. Oh, I can't use Foresight because I don't have Lightning Energy. Well then. Well, that's fine. Oh, I'm out of plays. Never mind. Got him. Immunity spot. Every three turns, this spot gains one status immunity. Okay, that's an uncommon. Attack opposite critter for power plus seven damage if you have a debuff, otherwise power plus three. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, wait, my swap value is up by one because of who I am. Oh, okay. Perfect. Right, let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. That should be good. And I don't have any stickers, right? Yeah. Okay. Moving on. We could go for another battle. Or I think we'll just go for a wild battle. See if we can get a card. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Market and focus strike. All right. So wild battle, shop, or swap. Let's see what they got the shop. I have three coins. Oh, is this the only page? Okay. A boar boil. Oh, I don't have enough coins for that. Heal three HP. All enemy critters lose one defense for three turns. Enemy critters heal two HP less. Ooh, not bad. I think just them having a basic attack is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of coins to spend. 
But that's fine. Uh, where is it? Where is that? There it is. So let's see. I want to get rid of... I'm going to have to go in the battle because I only have one coin. Let's do this. Ooh, poison. All right, that's good. Defense up. All right, Vine Purr is almost down. Uh, yep, this is good. Hmm. All right, that takes care of Vine Purr. Oh, I see. Okay, they were resistant to Hangolin. Yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, they had a heal card. Hmm, all right. Fine, Beerus. Hmm. Blossom Dance. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I want that one too. Can I go for one more? All right, that's a swap value of six. Eight. And let's see, am I willing to get rid of anything right now? Perfect. 
Perfect. Gimme. I need to add better cards to my deck. Alright, and stickers. It looks like Pan Helmet's the only one. Slumbill. And Fortified Spring. Okay. I think for this, I'm just gonna go a wild battle. you got. Yeah, that's what I thought. That'll be good for now. That's going to get rid of their status immunity buff, which is fine. Yep, this is good. Oh, that hit us all? Well then. Jinx is going to hurt them. Oh, they're... Oh. Oh, all right then. Yeah, I didn't realize that they were resistant to... Yeah, okay, I get it. So I'm wondering, if they attack me, does that mean... Yeah, I have 12 thorns. If they don't heal, they're gonna lose. Well then. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. I still cannot get a booster. Hmm, Molten. A unique battler? Sure, why not? Whoa. Okay. This is certainly going to be a battle. All enemy critters attack student.
Okay, yeah, this one's... Oh, no, I already lost a critter. Power plus six to all. Uh, it sucks that none of them are weak to grass. One more move I can make. Yeah, that's fine. Progress here. Okay, none of them have debuff, so Jinx isn't going to work. stopped him. Oh crap, I can't play Jinx. I don't have the energy. Shoot. Alright. Oh, that sucks. something. Oh, the regular attack worked too. Okay, cool. Okay, that one was certainly tougher, but yeah, it was a good challenge. Oh my god, look at all these cards. Every turn, use this card and draw one more time. Oh, wait, do you have a random ender in here? Ooh, spectral energy. Yes. Take root. Heal defense plus three HP. Okay. Okay, placebo is pretty good. Alright, swap value is 12. I should be able to afford this with the cards I've got. There we go. Oh, and there we go. I've got a... Um... So you're limited on how many sticker cards you can have. Oh, it makes sense.
All right, let's see. What if I get rid of one of these, replace it with a placebo? Oh, boss battle. All right, Cassie, you're going down. Yeah, I think we got this. Okay, I can't keep switching them around. need that. Alright, so two of them have status immunities, which is good. Alright. just have to go for an attack. Oh, let's do that one again. Gotta keep building his thorns up if I wanna. Ooh, Blossom Dance, yeah. Damage and heal, which is very good. When attacked, all allies take damage equal to soak stacks, then is removed. Interesting. That slump bill is going to be annoying. There. Now slum bill is no longer going to be an issue. Five's not too much. Ah, whatever. Oh, wow. Yeah, that thorn attack is really good. Let's see. Ooh. A boil. Hmm. 
Salal. Attack opposite crater for 5 to 12 damage. Every three turns, all enemy critters lose one defense for three turns. Critters attacks ignore four of the enemy's critters defense. Let's see, I should have something that you might like. Yeah, this is fine. And I have enough for seven points. Time to get funky down at the Vault Disco. I'm simply buzzing to have a battle with you at the finale. Oh, are we still going? Oh. Heck yeah. Actually, hmm. I am tempted. But you know what? I think I got a good taste of what this game has to offer. Alright, so this has been Isle of Swaps. I could have continued on to the other battles, but I think we got the gist of what it's all about. And I'm pretty sure there's something really good at the end, but eh, why not? But yeah, I think this game is pretty good. The mix between like Pokemon battles mixed with deck building and roguelikes, it's a great combination that works out really well. And you know what? Yeah, I do recommend giving this one a look if you can. It's such a good... Such a good time that I had with this already. Like the swapping mechanic and all the different cards that you can collect. I do enjoy this. I don't think there's a way that I can see all the other... Cards that I've collected. Yeah. It's not going to let me look at what I've got through the uh, Master Binder, but that's fine. So, yeah. This has been Isle of Swaps. If you like the uh, mixed uh, Pokemon deck building and roguelikes, definitely give this one a look. It's a lot of fun. And it should be coming out within the next couple of weeks or so. So, yeah. Give it a go. But with that, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all later. Bye!